Well, good evening, football fans. We are coming to you live from Keaton Field all the way in Bellevue, Tennessee, where we got some middle school football action tonight. It is the Nashville Christian Eagles taking on the Donaldson Christian Academy Wildcats. I'm here up in the booth alongside Josh Barnett. Mr. B, it's been a little bit since we've been in the booth together, but it feels oh so good to be back. It feels great, wonderful night, great night for eighth grade, for our cheerleaders, eighth grade cheerleaders, as well as our eighth grade football players. And I've got a good crowd, got music going, got a good vibe, and hopefully we'll pull up a W. Yes, hopefully, because the Eagles are two and three. Middle school Eagles are two and three on the season so far, looking to pick up their third win. They've won um, one of their games in a 12 to nothing shutout. Another game, 46 to 16, massive victory. So we've seen the defense be able to to pitch a shutout. We've seen the offense be able to score a lot of points. And one of their losses was a one possession game, 14 to 12. So we'll see what they bring this evening. the final home game of the season we believe and so that means it is eighth grade night so we will at some point make sure we honor all of our eighth graders not just our football players but our cheerleaders as well mm -hmm. of course there's kyle odom there on the side with the team as well coach king and his staff that's right with uh, kyle tidwell and uh coach satterfield as well Looks like the captains are walking out on the field. That's uh, number 13, Mason Booker, number one. I believe, mm, don't have number one. We're going we're gonna to get number one. Oh, gonna... I like that solidarity with our whole team out there. Look at that. Arm in arm. I love it. A band of brothers. Oh, yeah. I think number one's Hudson Smith. We don't uh, have another number listed for him, but I think it's number one. Yeah, I think so. And we got uh, 77 out there, Jav Javon Tidwell, and number three, John Preston, J.P. Thompson. That's your second year for a lot of these boys, Mr. Clark. How's that going? Part two with some of these football players in the classroom. You know, they're <laughs> student athletes, student first that's right they would prefer the other way around they prefer to do all sports all pe all day all just they're lunch. gonna come back and listen to this listen to me guys you are a student first <laughs> so, athlete second order is there for a reason i've never heard of athlete student so it just doesn't sound as good it doesn't roll off the tongue well there we go cheerleaders got the sign beautiful sign Bubble letters, eagles, orange and blue. It's beautiful. We spelled it correctly. Job, girls. Thank heavens. Yep. All there right. There we go. Let's play some football. It is football time in a Bellevue for the Eagles. And take a brief break for our national anthem and a prayer.
was here in the west side of Nashville. It's a beautiful day. We go towards late afternoon. We pray for a good game tonight. Both sides, healthy. We want to do the best. We want to fight you. We're grateful for our fans, our families, our support. Thank you for this avenue that we have. Keep. May we do our best for the best effort. We give all glory to you. Your precious son, Jesus Christ, same friend. Mr. B, the way you jumped in there to the booth to uh, pray that, I, it was like Sunday morning after leaving church. Well, I everyone... feel like for the boys, they thought it was the beginning of the day, morning manna. And then I, then as soon, that's when they tune out, right? Hey, I, I'm trying. I, I'm I trying know, in the I classroom know. to be like, listen, the only person talking <laughs> is Mr. B right now. It's <laughs> not you. Oh, uh, mercy. <laughs> Maybe they're listening. I don't know. Well, folks, it looks like the Eagles will be kicking off, which means they will be receiving the ball at the beginning of the second half. And it looks like number 13, Mason Booker, will be kicking off for the Eagles. As they get lined up, ready to go, he checks his sides. Here he we winds go. Up oh, there. And squibs it out to the right. Oh, oh, it gets oh. touched oh, by DCA. Oh, man. And Hudson Smith almost recovers My it. My goodness, I love the play call. Oh, it was a live and ball. The, and the kick was perfect. Wait, did they get it? Oh, Oh my, I thought they, they recovered it. Was that number 26? Number 26 fighting for it at the bottom of the pile. I wish we had number 26. We'll get that number for you in a bit, but heads up play there. Good job. So the Eagles do actually get to take the field after kicking off to DCA, the early miscue for the Wildcats. Beck Denos, number seven in a quarterback. Hudson Smith alongside him to the right. It throws out to Hudson. There you He's running up the right side. He's got the first down and more. Ah, uh, way to go, Hudson. And the quick first down for the Eagles. A nice little swing pass to Hudson Smith. That's the way you want to start off the drive right there. The 26, Chandler, was Will Duncan. Will Duncan? What a heads-up play by the eighth grader. Good job, Will. Fighting for it. I'm liking the, the uh, you know, how fast pace we're going right now. I like it. We got Blake. first down. We're around the 25 yard line. The ball gets uh, handed off to Hudson Smith again. He's at the left side this time. He makes there the you first go, run. Hudson, there you go. The left there you go. Take line. that corner. And he's in. Touchdown. He, he made said, that look easy, Chandler, yeah. on eighth grade night. 26 yards to the house. Wow. He can run it to the left, Chandler, and he ran it to the left. He, he can. Uh, right he, and left. He's got it both directions, Mr. B. He's got it figured out. With an early touchdown, just 55 seconds into this game, after kicking off to DCA, generate the turnover, score on a few plays, and here they're going to try for two. Becton hands it off to number 13. That's Mason Booker. Can he make it to the edge? Oh, it's going to be him. good play. Stopped by DCA. So good no play two for DCA, players. yeah. But Hudson Smith puts the Eagles on the board with seven minutes to go in the first quarter. It is six nothing N C S. Now Chandler, will they try that again? Or are they going to kick it? Well, I mean, if it ain't broke, oh, go boy. fix it. I mean, right. I think Mason's got the placement down. Folks, if you're uh, watching and can access the the chat feature, if you're supporting a an eagle or a wildcat, we would love or a cheerleader. We would you know we would love to hear who you're supporting. We'd love to give them a shout out over the air. They always love to go back and, and hear their name said over the uh, the interweb. So just let us know. Mason Booker lines up to kick the ball off at the 40 yard line. Punches it more towards the middle. DCA picks it up around the 35-yard line. Running up the right side. He fumbles it. Oh. Oh, my. Christian. Christian Chandler, this is deja vu. It's the same guy. I don't know if that's Will or not. That's <laughs> we we got to figure out who that is. We've got to figure you out. Oh. Who is that? Why don't we have you? He's a madman is who he is. He is player of the game already. I need him to take his helmet off so I can figure out who he is. Oh, my. 
I think that's... Uh, I don't want to guess and be wrong, but guys, uh, we, we've got... No, it's not Will Duncan. I, my apology for that. I, I was looking at the wrong roster. I want to say maybe James can nipple, maybe? Maybe. Kind of looks like James. I don't know, but if it's him, whoever it is, two heads-up plays on special teams. I mean, play of the game. I mean, that's just, you don't, you don't coach that. Just to go after and get that ball when it's live. I love it. Boys are just ready to play tonight. You love to see it. I think that's James. So not looking great for DCA so far. Two sloppy uh, fumbles on kickoff returns, and we, we've yet to see their, their offense take the field. This will be Nashville Christian's second possession, and they, they've never been kicked to. This is uh, a little unprecedented. It's an unusual night, but to our favor, so I'll take it. We're going to set the— uh, I want to know 26, though. We're, <laughs> yes, if you're watching and you know who number 26 is— Oh, hey, we got our first shout-out in the chat. We'll get to that after this play. But uh, Bechtonos is ready to take the snap and shotgun. Ball is on the 41-yard line. Swing pass out to Hudson Smith. He reverses field. He's trying to look for some daylight, and he's not going to find okay. any. He got a few, he's getting a few yards. Hey, he's not going down at the first sign of contact. Maybe a three yards. But you'd like to see him fighting for it. Mr. B, who do we have a shout-out for from the chat right here? Go Eagles, Mason Booker. That's Grandma sh shouting out her grandson. Well, thank you for uh, letting us know. Grandmas got... are the best, Chandler. Oh, they are. They are. I'm Just biased. Nothing but love in their hearts. We got second down and eight for the Eagles. A lot of people in the backfield here. Not even sure if this is a legal formation, but it's going to go to Hudson Smith again up the middle. And it looks like he's going to be just close to getting a first down, but there is a... Oh, we got a flag. Flag on the play. It's looking like a face mask on DCA, which is going to grant NCS a first down, I believe. Hudson Smith has been busy so far. Mr. B, I believe one of the games we called last year as a seventh grader, he... Scored, I believe, four touchdowns and had about 250-plus yards rushing. It was quite a sight. So maybe he's got another career night cook, uh, cooked well, up Well, he's us. getting a good start. We've seen him run every direction that you can run. Mm -hmm. You think we'll see a pass on this play? We got everybody empty field here. Yeah, nobody in the backfield. Where will Beckton go? He's got three receivers to the right. He's got up the middle. Oh, oh and it's almost intercepted. Dangerous Ooh. pass there intended for Mason Booker, but deflected. Number 11 for DCA. Wish we had a roster, uh, their names, but number 11. Yeah, Wildcat fans, you might want to, you know, reach out to your your website people. We, we were going to have the roster ready, but we, we had none to, to work with, unfortunately. So we'll just have to go with jersey numbers. But if you're watching and you have somebody that you're supporting, let us know. All right, new look this time. We got Mason Booker alongside Bechtonost. It is second and 10. Ball's on the 19-yard line. Coach King getting his last call. We got Hudson Gary at the bottom of your screen and some three receivers to choose from at the top of your screen. Beckton hands it off to Mason, running up the right side. Cuts back to the middle. Oh, got a flag. Another flag. Flags like that, yep. I was afraid, holding. We've got holding on the Eagles. We're going to try to set this offensive line for you. We've got uh, number 56, Finn Osman, on your left side. Number 77, Javon Tidwell as well. DCA's uh, it's going to get backed up, the holding penalty. We've also got number 52, your center. Get that name for you in just a second here. Kind of looks like Brady Irwin. Uh, we, got, uh, we also got number 50. Wyatt Petty, and I think Andy Carter on the right side there. Becton in shotgun is looking. He throws it to nobody mm. over the head of number three, J.P. Thompson. I don't think he gave him enough time to get down there. He didn't there. give him enough time, but I like the play call. He just got to wait just a little bit longer. So that brings up third and long. 
Eagles in four down territory here. I, I believe so, Chandler. We're I don't know if we've got a uh, you know forty plus uh, yard field goal kicker on our team. Maybe we do. We got Walker Martin out there, flanked out to the right, blocking. Mason Booker in the backfield. It goes to Mason. He's running up the left side. He's got a lane. He cuts oh. back to the middle. Oh. And he gets tackled at about the 16-yard line. Gains about uh, nine or so. So it's going to be fourth down, and uh, let's see what they're going to give him. Fourth down and seven. Fourth and seven. Let's say on that right side again, that is Andy Carter uh, to finish up our line of scrimmage there. Walker Martin checks out. And I think uh, Eagles are going to call a timeout here to get a good play call here for fourth down here. Big uh, big fourth down opportunity here, 16 yards away from the end zone. What do you think, Chandler? What's the call here? You know, they've been effective on the ground. Uh, you know, through the air, it's been a little dicey. So I think they're uh, – if I, if I were them, I'm thinking the swing passes to Hudson Smith have been, have been working. He can use his speed to kind of get the edge, so – but we're up here and not not down there, so I'm not sure what the coaches are thinking. I like you what you're saying. Yeah, it's it's worked so far. I'd like to see Becton connect on a pass here. But you're right. The swing pass to Hudson has worked and you're down here on our side. On their side rather and I'd love to see our Eagle defense take the field, but you know, it hasn't happened yet. VCA has not. Uh, had this is not quite unusual, isn't it? We yeah. we kicked off to them, and it's four fifty nine left in the first quarter, mm -hmm. and we've yet to see their offense. With the time I've got, let me uh, let you know about who's out there at receiver. We got number two Darian Green on your right side, JP Thompson as well, and Hudson Smith flanked out to the right. We got Hudson Geary, number five at the bottom of your screen. Mason Booker alongside Beckton knows fourth down and seven. Beckton rolls out to his right. He throws. He's got Darian. He's going to have to make some moves to get the first down. Can he get there? Uh, no, he can't. Oh, oh, got, oh, is that a face oh, mask no. again? Oh, DCA may have just given NCS a free first down. Yep, got face mask. Oh, man. Coaches are not going to be happy about no, that. No, that's, that's those mistakes, boy, hurt. Especially, that's a second face mask. Especially this deep in their territory. The Eagles are sniffing the end zone at this point. Only about 10 yards away. Less than that, actually. I think the ball's at the, at the 6 or 7. Yeah, you got open playbook almost. First yep. and 10. You got another first down you can make. All right, let's see. Let's see who host goes to. He's got a couple of different running backs to choose from. Darian Green in motion behind him. Goes out to the left. Beckton hands it up to Hudson up the middle. He cuts back to the left. Mm. Ooh, a nice tackle by DCA. He gets a few yards inside the five-yard line, I believe now. You know, Chandler, those run plays in the first quarter, by fourth quarter, it's really going to pay dividends, I believe. I think so. Caleb Bell and Walker Martin check in for Darian Green and Hudson Geary. Oh, we still need to know number 26. We do. Two recoveries. All right. Beckton Ost uh, hands it off to Mason Booker, and he cuts back, and he dashes his way in the end zone. That's a touchdown, folks, for the eighth grader on eighth grade night. Nicely done, Mason. All right, that puts the Eagles up 12 to nothing. And, uh, folks, as you can imagine, uh, not many people are uh, trying out for kicker. So we uh, we have no uh, – well, we're going to be going for two on every touchdown uh, – after every touchdown here. So let's see if we can get in the end zone this time. Becton hands it off to Mason up the middle. And he's in. Plows through a couple of wildcats for it. Good job, offensive line, creating the space. Very nice. Uh, that two-point conversion puts NCS up to... Um, 14? We sh yep, there it is. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, 14 up. There we go, there we go. I think say, 12 and 2. All right. I mean, 
It's a good thing I don't teach math. Wait. All right, so now we are kicking off. We'll see DCA has yet to retain possession from a kickoff. Our special teams has been on fire, both with our uh, our kicker here, Mason Booker, and our, our special teams, number 26, yes. has been just an absolute madman <laughs> scrapping for the ball. I think he's thinking he, the same play, and I'm going to get it again. Why not? Why oh. not make it three times? All right, oh, Mason what a kick. Sends it downfield. Oh, oh, and oh, gay, oh. Bobbles it. So that's a live ball, but he picks it up about the 15. And, oh, great and, tackle. And who is it making the tackle? It's number 26. <laughs> it's Mr. Special Teams. Man, give, give this man a race. I'm got, calling him Mr. Special Teams. He's got the red shoes. He's feeling good. He's getting the high fives from the from the teammates. Yeah, and the water, from know, the water, water girl was trying to give him some water. He goes, I don't need H2O. I'm he's Mr. A, Special Teams. He says, water needs me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is our first time seeing DCA's offense and the Eagles' defense. We'll make sure we uh, mention who all is out there for the Eagles as we as we go here. But the ball's on the 25-yard line for DCA. And they hand it off, and he's running up the right side here. Breaks one tackle mm. and gets pushed down by Mason Booker. But a good little gain there. So let me list off some people that uh, we haven't mentioned on offense that are on defense. We've got number four, Max Willis. Number 15, Carson Walker. We've got number 22, Josh Peffer. Did you call Finn Osmond, 56? We got 56, Finn Osmond. We got Jake Haywood in there as well. Seventh grader, number 24 on your right side. All right, DCA, an empty set. Three receivers to the top of your screen, two at the bottom. Brings a man in motion, and he gives it to him. And he gets... Uh, Good stop. Stopped by his own man, and then Javon Tidwell. Stopped by the offensive line. I mean, defensive line. Finishes the job there alongside Jake Haywood. Also seeing out there, we got Hudson Smith in at safety. Got Darian Green over there as well. We've got Walker Martin on the defensive line. I think I see J.P. Thompson in at linebacker. Mason Booker's in there. So let's see. We got third and Big four. Third down and four. Can we stop him? It's a handoff up the middle. Oh! And J.P. Thompson brings him down. What a what tackle. What a tackle. His dad's happy. He's standing up. He's looking around for who can I have. Oh, yeah. That's he's, the boy right yeah, there. Yeah, he's happy. He stood up on that play. I love it. But DCA not electing to punt. They are going to go for it on fourth down and five to go. The long five, Chandler. We got a uh, receiver uncovered down here at the bottom of your screen. Yep. Carson Walker's got two men to cover. Are they not seeing it? They're waiting for the call. I don't know what's... Uh, I'm about to say that Coach King is trying to get somebody to... There's somebody left open. Let's see if the quarterback finds it. He's going to roll it to the right. Can he make it to the first down line? He gets, he gets knocked by Hudson Smith. Shh. I think oh. he... And I think he just crossed yes, the first down Yes, I think that line. last effort crossed it. All right, so DCA gets their first first down of the night. Andy Carter is checking out. It's a name I had not mentioned. Josh Pepper checks in. I'm trying to see if we make sure we got everybody mentioned. I think we did. DCA is on the 35-yard line. Their quarterback, number two. Sorry, we don't have a name. First and ten. Max Willis comes around here to cover the uh, unmatched receiver down here, thankfully. The stands are rumbling. Yeah, the crowd's into it tonight. Got the cowbells, everything. Handoff goes to the running back. He runs up the right side. Ooh. And... Oh, a big collision with Carson Walker. But Carson stopping him a little bit. I mean... Putting his body there. That's good, Carson. Didn't have the size advantage, but, man, he went for it. You got to respect his Yeah, uh, I do, Carson. Grit. That's what you do. He lowered you his slow, head. You slow that person down. Call that sacrifice right there. Oh, right. yeah. So way to go, Carson. Hopefully with some water and... 
a couple plays of rest. He'll be back out there soon. Second and four, Chandler. All right, they're creeping towards Eagle territory here. 41, they're on the 41-yard line. It's been a lot of ground game for DCA. Let's see, do they stay on the ground? Quarterback is rolling out, runs back to the middle, and Ooh. gets brought down by J.P. Thompson. Ooh. I think J.P.'s wanting to have double oh, tackles Oh, he's tonight. in the zone, boy. He's in the danger zone. Are we, are we talking Kenny Loggins? What are we talking? Yeah. He's mavering it. <laughs> he's top gun. <laughs> Get those stands rumbling, parents. It yeah, is third it's bad, down. It's three to go. Oh, did we have a early mover? I think so. From DCA. We did. False start. That's going to back him up five yards, making it third and eight. Folks, remember, if you're supporting anybody, whether for DCA or NCS, please let us know in the chat. We would love to give them a shout out over at the air, especially if they're an eighth grader with it being their special night, eighth grade night. Third and eight. The cowbells are going. We need more cowbell, folks. Yeah, we got the cowboy, cowbells, got the foot stomping. Can we get this playoff in the next four got seconds? people jamming down burgers. We're ready to go. Here we go. Quarterback takes it up the left side, pitches it behind him. The play is still going, and running back gets tackled short of the first down. They're going to go for it, Chandler. I mean, they went to board earlier, so they're yep. down 14. You respect it. Well, folks, that's the end of the first quarter. Your score, Nashville Christian 14, DCA nothing. We're going to take a quick break here, but we'll be back to find out if DCA will convert this fourth down. Back in a moment. Welcome back to Keaton Field. Alongside Josh Barnett, I'm Chandler Clark, and we've got a 14 to nothing lead for Nashville Christian. We've got some middle school football action here on eighth grade night. At some point, we will make sure we list off all of our eighth grade football players and our eighth grade cheerleaders. Give them their moment of glory. It's fourth down and four. DCA looking to convert here towards midfield. Quarterback takes it up the left side, and he gets oh, the edge. Chandler, he got that opening. Mercy. Oh, but there is a flag. That has to be holding. 55 has already got his hands up. Oh, where have I seen that posture? Yeah. What it? What did yeah. I do? Yeah, not me. Oh, actually, it's on Nashville Christian. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The <laughs> ref was pointing the wrong way. All right, good. <laughs> oh, I was thinking to say, that seems weird. Coach King and I both have the same reaction there. Like, excuse me? All right, so yeah, DCA withholding there on their fourth down play. They got the first down. That's what's heartbreaking about it. It's going to come back. And, of course, Coach King is going to elect for them to have to try that again five yards deeper. So fourth and 11. Fourth and forever. And I'm guessing they're going to run it somehow. We'll see. Good to see Carson Walker back out there at the bottom of your screen. Yeah. After a big hit from the running back. All right, DCA, two receivers at the top of your screen, one at the bottom. We'll see what they elect to do here. Quarterback rolls out to his right. He's looking to throw, and he's going to keep it. And he, he is nowhere to run. Not going to get the first down. Tackled by Finn Osman and Mason Booker. That is a turnover 
on downs for DCA. So Nashville Christian good will job, take Good job, Eagles. Yeah, good job, Eagles. Defense, way to step up. Good job, guys. Yeah, great field position here. Ball is on the 35-yard line. In DCA territory, Bechtonost running back out to give his team the play call. Got two receivers to the left, one to the right. Looks like Hudson Smith alongside Bechtonost with Mason Booker flanked out to the left. It goes to Ooh. Hudson, Ooh. who flips it to JP, who throws oh. it. Looking for Hudson Geary. Oh. Mercy. For DCA. Just underthrown a little bit right into 16's hands. It was a great play and, design. Uh, but play, great play call. That's okay. Oh, uh, just... JP Thompson, that's okay, buddy. I love the play call. Why not, Chandler? Hey, you know, I mean, sometimes you got to throw a little flair in there. I love the pass. That's all right. I know JP wishes he could have that pass back, but. There's a lot of game left, and we still got a two-score lead. It's just consider you kicked off to them. You know what? You right. got they got a lot of field to catch up. So it's shake it off. Exactly right. They got 65 yards to the end zone here, so they got some work to do. But Eagles uh, throwing a lot in the box here, looking like they're going to rush a few. Quarterback and running back uh, <laughs> run into each other, and Walker Martin throws him down. Wow. With some authority. Nowhere to go for that running back. That's a tackle for loss. Loss of three. Great job, Mark Walker. Martin. Love to see Coach King over there giving some uh, tips to, to Jake Haywood. Oh, That's yeah. Great he's got, coach. He's got these boys ready to play. That's right. We got a receiver. I'm about to say uncover. There we go. Now he's good. All right. Second and 13 from the 22. DCA looking to pass, throws it out to number 15, and a great wrap-up tackle by like, Carson Walker. That's right. He can catch it, but he didn't go anywhere. It was a good thing he was on. That was a long three-yard pass. There were not a, a whole lot of uh, defenders on this side of the field, so great job by there, uh, Carson, protecting this uh, left sideline. It's third and ten now. Oh, Shout man. out to the defensive line, making that QB not have a lot of time. That's right. That's uh, it's Javon Tidwell, Finn Osmond, Walker Martin, and Josh Pepper. Love it. Love me. I love me some defensive linemen and offensive linemen. They so critical to a game. Doing a great job. We got another receiver at the top of your screen uncovered. There we go. Now he's good. There you go. Come on. Third and ten. Quarterback looking to pass. He launches oh, it. Carson's tracking it down. Oh. What an interception! Wow. Diving for Are it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What a play. Coach King is revved up on that one. Kyle Tidwell, Coach Tidwell, Coach Satterfield, he's getting the golden ball. <laughs> oh, man, he's getting a lot of praise for that one. Went out. Boy, and we are seeing some spectacular plays in this game. All the momentum is with Nashville Christian right now. Mercy. Great play there. I love the sideline cam there to get the reaction. Oh, great. That was awesome. Great job uh, to Haley Vandermeer and um, Michael Zemlick. Michael Zemlick giving us that on field. Yes. Uh, and while teams uh, talk it over, we want to give a big shout out to our uh, tech crew helping us out in the booth tonight. We got Kane Klingscales on the computer doing a great job. Yeah, give it up. Yeah, Kane. We got Colin Sawyer. Doing our uh, crow's nest cam, we've got, uh, as mentioned, Haley Vandermeer and Michael Zimlick, our sideline cams, uh, doing a great job as well. Our cheerleaders are out there getting them fired up, the crowd. There you go. There we go. This would be a good time to list yeah. off our yeah. cool cheerleaders. Mr. B, who we got on our cheer Yeah, we got Montgomery Adams, Adelaide Brazel. Charlotte Ferguson, Callie Grimenstein, Riley Heineman, Sophia King, Jolie Martin, Rebecca Nixon, Madison Sutton, Abby Tate, and Lily Willis. Great job, girls. Keeping our... Six of them are eighth graders, and we'll give them a shout-out in the time, when that time comes. Yes. 
Yes, great job, ladies. All right, so the Eagles take over balls near midfield. Darian Green in motion. Bechtonost looking to pass. He throws it downfield. He's got a man wide open. open. Oh, wide oh, open. open. Oh, oh, so close. Oh. Hudson Geary there had the end zone. That was and such so wide open. Ball was a little underthrown, but got to secure it. But it's all right. Hopefully we'll have another chance there. Good to see that our receivers are, are showing their speed. Oh, that was Making... a great pass. I'm loving this versatility from Beck to Notes. Yes, we'll see uh, if they continue to attack these. Good job, offensive line, giving them some time to throw, too. That's right. We've got uh, a bunch of receivers, or running backs in the backfield, I should say. Running back uh, Hudson Smith up the middle and hits a stone wall. That's Gains okay. Maybe a yard. Wear him down a little bit. That's that's okay. I think they'll give him two, actually. So it is third and seven. I'd like for Hudson to have that shot again, if he could. We got three receivers at the bottom of your screen, two at the top. Where will Beckton go? He launches it immediately oh, to nobody. Oh, and it's intercepted. No, right. Two so DC. They're thrown. He's going to take Oh, my. DCA. Uh, oh, no. He had nobody. He was just. Well. Yeah, that was a pretty quick pass right from the snap. Take it off, Beckton. It's okay. That's right. You know, if we still have the advantage of this game, just don't let it tip to the, their side. Chandler, he was, I mean, he was wide open, just had that ball, went right to it, closest one to it. Yeah. And nothing but green grass. So but up, move forward, you up, know. That's right. We, we got some more time. That's right. I'd like to see some teammates encouraging their quarterback. Uh, let's see if DCA can get their two-point conversion here. Number two takes the high snap, runs to the right side, looking to get the edge, and he does. Mm. We well, got a ball game now. Once possession game now. It is 14 to 8. National Christian with the lead, but not by much. Well, Chandler, it's up to NCS, our boys, to step it up. And mentally, how are they going to handle this? That's right. They've uh, they had a close loss earlier in this season, fourteen to twelve, and it's looking like uh, with DCA now having a little life in them, that this one could be close. With uh, this kickoff, we want to name some people that we haven't mentioned yet. So we want to talk about we uh, some guys on special teams here. We got number twenty Cooper Crow, number twenty one Will Fiala, we got number ten Caleb Bell out there on special teams and I believe I believe that is everybody that uh, everyone else I believe we've mentioned this will be the first time our special teams gets to receive a kickoff it's Darian Green and Hudson Smith back at deep Number 22 sends it towards Hudson Smith. It's headed for the for out of bounds, and it does roll out of bounds. Hudson Smith, good call there, good not call. to grab it. Yeah. Yeah. Kick out of bounds, so Eagles will get some nice field position. Crowd still in it. Got a good crowd here tonight, Chandler. Got yes. a good crowd for DCA showing up tonight. Absolutely. Made a trip all the way out from uh, Donaldson. We appreciate that. So it is first down and 10. Ball's on the 35-yard line. See if the Eagles can shake off the last drive miscue. Hudson Smith alongside Beck Denos. Hudson gets the ball running to his right side. Just cut that corner, Hudson. Ooh. He makes, oh! 
Gets tripped. Number seven had him tripped him up. Yep, that was a good stop there by number seven. Hudson, though, still gets a good bit of yardage there. Almost gets the first down. It's going to be second and one. Wonder if they'll uh, dial up any more trick plays or now that it's uh, one score. I'd, I'd say stick to the basics. I like the play call that they did earlier, but stick with what's working right now. Becton's going to hand it off to Hudson Smith again. Cuts it back up to the middle. There we go. First down. Yes. Gets the first down. Good job, guys. Way to get your blocks. Okay, give them some room. Way to go. New set of downs for Nashville Christian. We see you, Uncle Bill. Go John Preston. <laughs> By the way, uh, correction on... Release the beast. I love it, our Uncle Bill. center, uh, number 52, is Gavin Shoecraft. Make sure I uh, apologize for that misread on my part. So we got... Hudson Gary at the bottom of your screen, J.P. Thompson and Darian Green at the top. Beckton Ost with Hudson Smith. It is first down and 10 from the 47 and goes to Hudson. He makes one man miss. He's running up the left side here. He cuts it back, makes another man miss. He's still going. Oh, no, Hudson. Really? Take it go, to the house. Go, go. Kitty out past 57. Can he do it? Can one he man do it? to beat. Oh. And he does. <laughs> Touchdown, Hudson Smith. Oh, Chandler, yards. what a play. That's taking it. That's that's how you respond to adversity. Woo! That's how you do it. That is his second uh, uh, touchdown of the night, folks. And I don't think he's done quite yet. Good job, guys. Nobody holding anybody, allowing him to catch that run. Way to go. Love to see the, uh, the speed and the power there. Uh, Peyton Walker, number 66, checks in. For the offensive line here as the Eagles go for two. Hudson Smith in the backfield. Hudson Geary to the left. It goes straight up to Mason Booker, and he's in for two. That brings your score to 22 to 8 for the Eagles, and life is back in these stands. Chandler, that was a great answer from that uh, interception, running in for a touchdown. Yeah, absolutely, Mr. B. We've had five turnovers tonight already, and we're not even to halftime yet. So it has been there. There's been so much change, and these uh, these Eagles have really uh, brought their A game with um, how to respond to who these turnovers. All right, so some uh, some guys that we're seeing over here. We got number 23 out there, Joseph Hoskins as well. Number 28, I believe that is Eli Ritas. Kickoff goes to DCA. They recover around the 40-yard line. Oh, and it's a fumble. Will the ball stay in bounds? Oh, and it just rolls out of bounds before an eagle recovered it, I believe. So I think DCA is going to retain a possession. Uh, Chandler, according to Jake Campbell, 26 is Peyton Walker. Is it? Mr. Special Teams. Hmm. Well, we will we'll have to double check that, but we appreciate the, uh, the information there from our lovely mm -hmm. audience. Thank you to the 14 people that are viewing. Well, 13. My, my phone's one of them. So thank you to our viewers out there. It's first and 10 for DCA at the 44-yard line. Quarterback and shotgun looking to pass, rolling out to his right. Makes a first man miss, and he gets thrown down. Walker Martin again. He just doesn't tackle. I mean, he tackles. Might be therapy for him, just releasing some. I think so. I mean, he's been got all day school. He's ready to just uh, off that defensive line. They're ready to go. I mean, they are tenacious. And only giving up three yards there in that first play. So it's second and seven. DCA, two receivers at the top of your screen, one at the bottom. 
Number 22 for DCA in at running back. Oh, high snap oh, over the head of the high snap. And he's able to fall on it, but uh, deep mm. in their uh, Generally, that could territory been, here. Could have been a dangerous situation for them. And you never know how the ball is going to bounce. It's uh, it's not exactly round. So, But the quarterback did well. You just got to lay on it and just take it. That's true. Uh, a young player might uh, try to pick that up and, and make something happen with it, but a good play there. So it's third and 18 for DCA. They're going to have to make some magic happen here to get a first down. Fans are, yeah, I've got our president standing up cheering. The cheerleaders. Cheerleaders are firing us up. Yeah, they are. They're telling us to get up on our feet. And we got a timeout. DCA is going to talk things over since they've uh, they got 18 yards to, to get a first down here. Chandler, speaking of a uh, big game tonight, eighth grade night, tomorrow night, high school has a home game, one of the three, and homecoming. That's right. They will be facing Mount Juliet Christian, who has had a fairly good start to their season. Uh, our high school Eagles are still searching for their first win. They'll be hoping to uh, go to the homecoming dance happy if they can clean things up and, and pick up a win tomorrow night here at Keaton Field. Good shots from our camera people. Colin, good shot upstairs. Haley, thank you. Michael, providing our viewers. Just like they're here at the game. Shout out to our water girls down there. I believe we got two sixth graders. Got Harper Geary and Abria Bell. With... Uh, some family on the team, so love to see the, the whole family here. All right, third and 18, a long way to go for DCA. They can bring a man in motion behind. It's going to go out to him, and he's going to look to throw it, but and he does. He launches it downfield, fighting with him with Darian oh. Brady. He intercepts it. There is a flag. We'll see who it's going to be on, but Darian's still running and gets pushed out of bounds. What's the call here? They were both uh, kind of... Look, holding each other, yeah. fighting for the ball here. How's the refs going to see it? Darian, uh, hope he's low to get up, but uh, he's up now. Okay. That's good to see. Yeah, we don't want anybody hurt tonight. A little shaking up a little bit, but. And I believe they're going to call pass interference on the defense, so that interception will not stand. And it gives DCA an extra, extra bit of yardage. So they've got. Oh my! Guess who just said "Go Eagles"? Could it be? Mm hmm Our old the legend coworker and the legend, the quarterback phenom himself, Matt Ogle. Oh, Matt! Big shout out to you, buddy. We love you. Yes, we do. We missed you. Hope you're doing well. Yes, we do. All right, it is third and short. For DCA, Ooh, and a, a flea flicker, flicker. and it's, he's got Number a man wide open. Wide open. Chandler, oh. what a call on the third and three. Trickery from the Wildcats uh. and a huge first down play. Number 11 there, uh, way to focus and, and hang on to that ball. So that's that's been the biggest play from offense for DCA all night, and they're, they've got a minute to go, they're going to try to get another touchdown in before halftime here. Try to close this gap. 
Well, our defense, let's need to step up here. Here we go. First down at the 16-yard line for DCA. Quarterback rolling out to his right. He's going to keep it. Cut back to the middle. And Ooh. Walker Martin throws him down once again. That was a good stop by Walker because he wasn't for Walker. He would have ran it in. I think so. And quarterback gets a nice gain there. Second and short. And DCA running up the right side. Oh, a nice stop there. I think that was Darian Green with a, maybe another touchdown saving tackle. DCA does get the first down, and they are in goal line territory here. They're three yards away. Can the defense stand strong here? Thirty-one seconds. All right, can DCA punch it in here? Three yards out. Clock winding down. There's only 31 seconds to go. Quarterback is running up the left side. Cuts it back up the middle. He's fighting for it, and he's in. Oh, Chandler. What a play. That flea flicker really set this up. Man, huge connection. Number 11, again, I wish we had their names, but number 11 was wide open. Pays off for, for DCA. So they're going to cut this lead down. They're now at 14. With this two-point conversion, they'll only be down six points. But we still have 25 seconds left, mind you. So, you know, I would like to see us if we could. Well, I guess it depends on how we receive it and so forth. We'll see. Number 22 gets the handoff, and he's met immediately by some Eagles. And he gets thrown down, and it's no good on the two-point conversion. Way to go, defense. Good stop, guys. Good stop. So that is going to leave your score at Nashville Christian 22, DCA 14. So we'll see, does Coach King take a conservative approach here to just send us into halftime quietly, or does he try to cook up something spicy? It's eighth grade night. I mean, I don't know what he's got up his sleeve. Hey, we've seen a trick play from us. It almost worked. It did. I'd like to see us connect on one, just like they did. <laughs> <clears throat> like we got a good crowd, got a good vibe here. Cheerleaders are pepping us up. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff in our favor here. been a very eventful first half here four touchdowns between the two teams five turnovers folks if you wanted excitement you've got it yes we've had it all any more fireworks left in either of these teams let's see the kick goes to mason booker and he is tackled around the ford at 39 yard line with 19 seconds to go let's see what What's Coach King going to decide here with 19 seconds here? What would you decide? I don't know. With it being a one-score game, because with a, with a two-point conversion, DCA could tie it up. I wouldn't want anything. Uh, we, we've already seen an interception from, from DCA get returned all the way back to the house. So we don't, we don't necessarily want to give them anything. So I would just like to maybe conservatively just keep this on the ground for the next couple plays and, and go into halftime in the guaranteed to be in the lead. But we'll see what they do. Back to Nost, your quarterback in shotgun, bringing Darian Green in motion behind him. Beckton pitches it to oh, a running 50, back. Is that 57? 57 for DCA. Pitching mm. it to Hudson Geary, but he is Almost like down. he knew that play call, didn't it? He was almost back there ready to catch the pitch. Five... Four. Yeah, Coach King is saying, let's three, just, take it to the house. That's yeah. right. Half time, regroup. All righty, folks. It is Nashville Christian 22, DCA, trying to make a comeback here. They're, they've cut it to a one possession game. So it is 22 to 14 here at Keaton Field. So it is half time. 
Mr. B, you think we should do an, a quick honoring of our eighth graders on eighth grade night and uh, read off our our list here? I think we should do it now and then after the game, yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, your eighth graders tonight for Nashville Christian. We've got Darian Green, J.P. Thompson, Max Willis, Hudson Smith, Beckton Ost, Caleb Bell, Hudson Geary, Mason Booker, Carson Walker, Jaden Peterson, Cooper Crow, Will Fiala, Josh Pepper, Joseph Hoskins, Walker Martin, Finn Osman, Will Duncan, Peyton Walker, Yoel Campos, Andy Carter, and Javon Tidwell. And of our cheerleaders, eighth graders are Ad Adelaide Brazel, Charlotte Ferguson, Riley Heineman, Sophia King, Madison Sutton, and Abby Tate. Yes, we love our eighth graders leading our middle school so well. Uh, folks, we're going to take a quick break ourselves. We'll be back to recap the first half in just a bit. Enjoy the, uh, the sights, and we will see you back in a few minutes. Thank you for watching so much. Jane, Jane.
Welcome back to Keaton Field. We are about to kick off the second half here with uh, Nashville Christian in the lead 22 to 14 over DCA. And Mr. B, it was a wild first half. It started with us kicking off to them and the recovery by Mr. Special Teams, number 26, who I, I still recovered, recovered twice. Yeah. I mean, we were playing offense at least the first, almost all the first quarter. I still feel pretty confident that that's James Knippel, but, you know. Then a Carson I Walker with the pick. It was a beautiful catch, and JP and those wonderful sacks. Yep. Walker Martin's had some great tackles. Hudson Smith with some electrifying runs, so we're in for a great second half here. It's kicked off to the Eagles. Hudson Smith drops it but picks it back up. He's running up the middle here, gets tackled around the 35-yard line. And the offense will take the field. Nashville Christian very effective on the ground in the first half. Hudson Smith with two first half touchdowns, including a 53 yarder. We've got the sun coming down, the lights are on, a little bit cooler. It's it's football weather right here, Chandler. It is. Love when the season's just on the yep. verge of changing. All right, so we got first down and 10 from the 35-yard line. Bechtonos throws it to Hudson Smith. He's met immediately by DCA number 22. I believe that's also their running back with a great open field tackle there. So that's going to be a tackle for loss. It's a nice job getting in the backfield there. So that's uh, second and, wow, loss of seven there. So second and 17. Hmm. Not the way you're wanting to start it off, but let's see. We got Hudson Geary lined up at receiver at the bottom of your screen. J.P. Thompson, top of your screen, Darian Green in motion. The ball is faked to Darian, goes to Hudson Smith up the middle. Oh, he is go Hudson. Go. Oh, ooh, that's a face mask. Yes, it is. Oh, That is a face mask and gives us some yardage. There's been a few of those face mask calls tonight. Just maybe yeah. some undisciplined tackling. Yeah, perhaps. I don't know. It's... Well, it's in our favor here. Going to give us an extra, some extra yardage here. Might be a first down. As a result, it sure will be. That was what, the third face mask call in this game so far? That sounds about right. And I think we've done it once too, but they uh, DCA has definitely been guilty a few times. So here we go. Uh, back to Nose and a quarterback balls at midfield. Daring Green in motion. The ball goes to Hudson Smith up the middle. Cuts back to his right. Gains about yards. three yards there. Tackled by number 55 by the Wildcats. Folks, remember if you're watching and you're supporting somebody on either the Eagles or the Wildcats, please let us know in the chat. We would love to give them a shout-out. Second and seven for the Eagles. Darian Green, J.P. Thompson, bottom of your screen. Hudson Geary, top of your screen. Mason Booker flanked out to the right, off the line of scrimmage. Ball goes to Hudson Smith. He's running to his right, cuts back up the middle, tries to run through a tackle, and he oh, does. Oh, what a way to on go, feet. Hudson, He's man. Still churning the legs. Whoa. And gets the first down, a late skirmish started by DCA that the parents did not appreciate. That's okay. We got the first. We got the first down. That was great. Great running by Hudson, not quitting. Pushing through. Players helping him. Absolutely, he's gonna he's gonna remember that uh, last little nudge from the, yeah, the Wildcat on this next run. So we'll see what he does with it. Thirty eight yards to go to the end zone. The ball goes to Hudson Smith. He fumbles it, but he picks it back up, and it's gonna be a loss on this run due to the fumble. All right, guys, let's, let's clean it up. 
second and 12, second and 13, excuse me. See, uh, nothing over the air yet in the second half. Maybe we're testing the defense to see if they're going to buy the run on, on each play here. Three receivers to Becton's left, one to his right. Mason Booker in at running back. Becton looking to his left. He launches it downfield just over oh. the head of JP. Like the play call, just got to connect on that. I like it too. I like we're varying it up. Got to be unpredictable. Yeah, I don't want to stay in one dimension. So that will stop the clock. Third down, 13 to go. Kayla Bell and Walker Martin check in for Hudson Geary and Darian Green. Looks like to be the run package there if I'm uh, taking my notes. So we'll, we'll see if uh, Hudson Smith's going to get it here or Mason Booker perhaps. Yeah, a bunch of uh, running backs in the backfield here. Walker Martin alongside. Back to Nose, Mason Booker deep. It goes to Mason. Stiff arms the first man, but to no avail. He brings him down anyway, so it's going to be fourth down at the 37. Sorry, 43. Let's go, Eagles. Let's regroup. Let's... Receivers are all back in. I think you got to... I think it's too... Fourth and 15, what do you think? We just launched this thing? I think he passed it. Only two receivers to choose from, but Darian Green in motion. Becton looks. He swings it out to Darian, uh, and it's and that's going to bring up a turnover mm. on downs. DCA will take over. Well... Not the uh, not the drive that we were hoping to, to start the second half with, but... Well, just mental cues there, just trying to maybe run ahead before catching it, making sure... I don't know. We just got to be more mentally prepared. All right, we'll see what DCA does with this uh, field position. They're almost to midfield. Quarterback is rolling out to his right. He's going to keep it on the ground. He's going to make a couple guys miss. And he is brought down close to the first down marker. I think that was J.P. Thompson on the tackle. Yep. We said his name a few times on defense. John tonight. Preston. When he tackles, he tackles. He is the beast. I think he uh, heard his uh, Uncle, Uncle Bill. Bill's uh, yeah. <laughs> note to release the beast. Yeah, it was a telekinesis right there. Uncle Bill, I think I'm going to need you to text me every morning to tell me to release the beast. need that encouragement. So, second down and a short one for DCA. They are just past midfield. Quarterback rolling out to his left, cuts it back up the middle, and gets the first down and breaks a few tackles. Nice job there by number two. Holding on to the ball. So that brings up a first down. DCA as well, they, they haven't really tried a lot through the air, but when they did, they, they've connected. They had that very big flea flicker, you know, 40-yard bomb in the second quarter that set up their, uh, their touchdown run right before the first half was over. So let's see what they've got cooked up here. Ball's on the 41-yard line for DCA. Two receivers, bottom of your screen, one at the top, but the ball goes to the running back, number 22 up the middle. He's brought down by J.P. E. Thompson, the tackling machine. Brought down, but he got some yards there. Yep, they're going to give him three, second and seven. We still got a game here, Chandler. Here in the third quarter, and oh no, they uh, two thirty-eight. They're they're driving a little bit. Our guys cannot uh, let up for a second here because this game could be tied up very quickly. So here we go, second and seven. Balls on the thirty-nine yard line. DCA quarterback rolling out to his right, cuts it back, and 
is brought down a few yards short of the first down. I think he's brought down by Walker Martin. Another tackling machine tonight. Say uh, number 50 checks out. That is Wyatt Petty for a quick water break. It is third down and three to go. Big down right here. Number two gets it looking to his left and throws it into the dirt. Incomplete. Being up fourth down. They stopped us on that last fourth down. It's time for us to stop them. That's right. All it takes is one play here to keep their drive alive. The crowd is rumbling. The cowbells are ringing. The quarterback takes it up the middle, and it looks like he's going to get the first he down. He got a first down. Nice run there by number two. He has been the workhorse of this drive. Very poised. Very you got to hand it to DCA, you know, compared to their roster and ours. You know, we've got a much bigger roster than theirs, and they've really – they have the components and, and people that really have stepped up when they needed to step up to keep them in the game right here. That's true. Even though our roster is uh, larger in quantity, the DCA is not letting it get to them. So a new set of downs for DCA, 28 yards to go. Number two, the savior of the drive so far. Can he keep the drive going? Number 15 at the bottom of your screen. Number 11, number 9 at the top of your screen. Number 22 in the backfield. It goes to number 22 up the middle. Runs into his own man and brought down. Oh, we got a flag. Oh, here's our face mask call. Ugh. And number 22 is pumped up about it. Yep. That's going to be a nice. Uh, been more face masks in this game than I can remember. No, I think I don't know what the what the deal is with. It's a very very clear rule; they're not allowed to break. But I don't know. It's having some issues with it. So that puts the ball for DCA down at the 15 yard line, with less than a minute to go in the third. They are knocking at the door here. And with a touchdown and two-point conversion, this game could be tied, folks. So it's first down and 10. Carson Walker and Max Willis covering receivers. Bottom of your screen, Darian Green at the top of your screen. Quarterback is going to run with it to his left. He's got some daylight. Can he make it to the pylon? Oh, that's he does. touchdown. Touchdown number two, DCA. Mm. Unbelievable drive. And they're two points away from tying this game, folks. With a 15-yard scamper. Nursey Chandler. They have found a way. The uh, visiting stands over there are fired up. About yeah, it. they're fired up. They were, now, how are we going to respond to this? Boy, this is a huge two-point conversion huge. right here. The defense has stopped them before tonight. On these two-point tries, they're going to line three receivers out. They're going to number out. two, big time. Yep. That's been the play. Will he keep it? He will. He's running to his right. He cuts back to the middle, and he's... They stopped him. Yeah, that's great. Great job by... Javon Tidwell, Darian Green, and company to stuff that ring. That was critical, Chandler. They would have tied it up, Woo. and I think the momentum would have been on them. We kind of shifted it to us a little bit by stopping them. That's, uh, that's a Giving sweet us victory. A, yes, it is. Take off the t six points. Stop them from the two extra. I like how Coach King's out there with them. Can't go back. Go forward. 
Yes, nice job there by the by the defense to to hold them. And the crowd's still here, Chandler. They're I mean they're not going anywhere. Oh no, we got ourselves uh an interesting little score here with just a measly two point lead. And we've seen some uh some fireworks tonight. We've seen interception returns for touchdowns. We've seen special teams miscues. We've seen long touchdown runs, long completions through the air. We've seen face max central. <laughs> That's true, too. All right, number 22 sends it down for Hudson Smith, secures it. And he is up near the 40-yard line, still on his feet. Oh, Brought boy. Down the 37. I love how Hudson doesn't quit after the first contact. He just keeps pushing, doesn't he? That's right. That's a sign of a... a Powerful running back. So he gives the Eagles good field position here. They're going to start actually ball about the 39. Yeah. So first down and 10. 13 seconds to go in the third quarter. Three receivers to choose from. Beckton Ost in shotgun. Hands it off to Hudson Smith. Spins. To his right, heads for the sideline, gets tackled by number two, DCA's quarterback. And that's going to bring up the end of the third quarter. It is 22 to 20, Nashville they Christian. They got the four fingers up. They got him up. Kyle Odom leading the charge, the four fingers up. I love it. There you go, coach. There you go. So, folks, it is 20 to 22. With one quarter to go, we're going to take a quick timeout here. We'll be back in just a moment to bring you. Don't go anywhere. Quarter action. All right, folks, welcome back. It's the fourth quarter. The Eagles have the ball, second and seven to go. Bechtonos gives it to Hudson Smith, sweeping to his go. right. First he down. Takes first go. And he's going the right go. sideline. Go. 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 And he's in touchdown. Hudson Smith is third of the evening. Hudson, I am standing up, applauding. Wait a minute. Is there a flag on the play? Wait. No. Illegal uh, gift on the uh, offense. Oh, uh, just take the wind out of our sails. Why don't you? Let me see. Refs, that was a beautiful moment, and you ruined it. Well, actually, we ruined it with the... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, they the call the call. Play. What do you do? You know? Well, Hudson will need to just catch his breath for a second. Regroup. So, negate the touchdown. It is second and 12 instead. And Coach King, I think, is going to want to chat with his team. Yep. Yeah, he sent them over. Quick timeout by Nashville Christian, but we'll stay right here. I didn't quite... I don't, I'm not sure if the flag was the... That motion, I think that's an illegal shift, which I'm going to be honest, I don't really quite know what that is. But it wasn't a false start. All I know is Sweet Caroline's playing, which means it's the fourth <laughs> quarter, Mr. B. Neil Diamond. Would he have ever dreamed this song would be viral at every sporting event and concert event? Classic never dies, you know. I guess not.
All right. Well, unfortunately, the electrifying touchdown run negated by the penalty on Nashville Christian. So it is second and 12 balls on the 37 yard line. Bechtonost in shotgun. He's got lots of people to choose from. Hudson Smith in motion. Gets it back. Running to his left side. Cuts it back up the middle. There you go. Oh. Leaps over a defender and gains about six. Six or seven. Boy, how many yards has Hudson acquired? I mean, I I feel confident saying it's over 100. Caleb Bell and Walker Martin check in. So it is third down with 40 yards to go. Mason Booker in the very backfield with a few people to choose from. It goes to Mason. He cuts it back towards the middle, and he's just short of a first down. He gains a yard, so he's actually going to be three yards short. Big play right here, Chandler. Third and fourth and four. 22-20. Yeah, this would not be a great spot to not get this first down with uh, DCA would take over in our territory. So Darian Green and... Hudson Gary check back in. Some extra receivers for Beckton possibly to throw to. I'm not sure. Will they stick it to the ground game? It's been a lot of Hudson Smith on the ground. We'll see. Is that going to remain? And DCA is going to talk things over because they know how important this uh, fourth down play is if this defense can, uh, can stand firm. I heard the announcer honoring eighth graders after the game. Yes, we're proud of our eighth graders. And they lead our middle school. I've been proud of our offensive line, too, Chandler. You know, they typically don't get it as much credit as they deserve. They don't. You know, I know Hudson is breaking free some of those plays, and Becton's given some time to throw. You got to – that doesn't just happen. You got to have an offensive line to give them that time. I think our offensive, defensive line, we need to give them shout-outs, you know. Yes. I know we've been saying that, but so let's, they're in the trenches. Let's give some shout-outs to Andy Carter. Wyatt. Petty. Get your hands Shaper, up, folks. Javon Tidwell and Finn Osmond. Here we go. It's fourth down and three. Bechtonos is going to give it to Hudson Smith up the left side. He's got the first down. Oh, no. Oh. Eight four. Good play. Good call. Good run. Good execution. Good blocking. Hey, teams know you got to get the ball in your hands of your Boy. playmakers. And Hudson, Chandler, what a big play. That's what he's been doing all night. He's been making plays. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Caleb Bell, Walker Martin check in for the new set of first downs. Ball is now in Wildcat territory. Mason Booker behind Becton Ost. Becton gives it to Mason Booker. Goes straight up the middle. Got his head down. Went straight up. He's another downhill runner, uh, just like just like Hudson. So a nice gain there, about five. They're going to give him six. It's second and four. You know, since that uh, interception, I don't think we've uh, thrown a pass. I, I, yeah, I like what we're doing. Just what? run it, take up the clock. We're ahead. We're pushing it. We're moving forward. Why, why change that? You're right. It's been working. Mason Booker still in a tailback. Second and five from the 39. It goes to Mason up the left side here. Oh, <laughs> and he absolutely <laughs> trucks the defender. Oh, poor three. No, wow. Number three, I'm to say. What's the word letter for that? <laughs> that? Vicious run. Wow, Mason. Oof. He's going to have to send him a postcard for where he just sent him to. Wow. I mean, heavens to Betsy. What a great run there by Mason. Mm. 
Growl got fired up for that one. So here we go. First sit down and 10 from the 24. Walker Martin alongside Vectinos and Mason Booker still in there at tailback. They're going to feed it to him again. And this time he gets uh, wrapped up oh, by number 57. Oh, he's going backwards. They're going to call the play, yeah. Uh, number 57, a nice job there getting to the backfield. And that's a tackle for loss. I think he's had a couple of good plays tonight for DCA. So second and 14 for Nashville Christian, 28 yards to go to the end zone. There's four minutes and 12 seconds left in the game, but they've only got a two point lead, a touchdown could cement the game. Here we go. Bechtonost gives it to Mason, runs up the right side, and he gets a nice gain there, probably about six or seven. Or more than that, I'm sorry. The They started behind the line of scrimmage, so it's going to be third and four. Time is running, too. Going down, still ahead. I like that we're using the clock well. We're just bleeding the clock with all these run plays. No need to uh, throw a you know a pass that might go incomplete and stop the clock. So smart move here, taking our time. You just gotta be careful, I gotta take care of the football. Three minutes to go, third and four. Ball goes to Mason Booker, a little unsure of uh, I wonder if, where to line up there. Yeah, there's a little confusion there. We've got some finger pointing going here uh, from the from the fellas, and unfortunately, the fourth and four, the Eric fourth and six. Never mind, fourth and six. This is the big fourth down play. And they're going to say fourth and eight. Actually, fourth and eight. they keep going back. Well. The winning formula tonight has been give the ball to Hudson Smith. Mason Booker, though, has had uh, some nice runs on this this drive. So what do you think, Mr. B? you think we keep it on the ground here? Uh, I do. Even if you don't get it, you, you, you drain the clock some more, and you're on their end, and they got a lot of field to catch up. So I do. That's true. Got to protect the lead. We don't have to get greedy here. But it is eighth grade night, and so I don't know. Anything happens, and we got we had flea flickers. We had up the middle. We had everything you could think of. All right, big big fourth down play here for Nashville Christian. Bechtonos has got four receivers to pick from. But he brings Hudson Smith in motion, and the timing is a little off, so he just oh, launches it. Intended for GP. Oh, comes in man. His hands. Oh, JP man. wants a pass interference call, and he's not going to get it. So it is turnover on downs for Nashville Christian. DCA will take over at the 23. Oh, man. I think the it was supposed to go to Hudson, but I, it looked like the mm -hmm. he came. Yeah, he's kind of explaining that. Well, he was. Well, it's all right. But they've still got a long way to go. They got... Oh, there's 70, a lot of, lot of green grass, and there's three minutes left, so defense. yards. Let's step up. That's right. Let's let the defense put this game away. A turnover could do it. Stopping them on fourth down could do it. Let's see. DCA, first down and 10 from the, their 22. Quarterback's going to run it to his right. Cuts it back. Makes a few guys miss, but is brought down by Javon Tidwell. That is a first down run, though, from number two, who's been their playmaker tonight.
All right, first down and 10 from the 34. Number two keeps it again, and he's got the oh, three line. Are you kidding me? Is somebody going to catch him? Are you here? kidding me? He's Walker Martin, catch him. <laughs> catch him. <laughs> Walker. He stops him short. Walker. The goal line. Think, oh, what a play by Walker Martin staying with him and reaching out. Hustle. Oh, but Chandler, he, he was wide open. What happened? Man, uh, he got some good blocks from uh, receivers at the bottom of uh, your screen there. And number two, he's... Number two has had uh, made it the same, if not more, than Hudson as far as yards. Well, we are... Uh, it's getting dangerous here, folks. They are five Woo! yards away. There's two minutes to go, and the clock is running. Do not go and go anywhere. Stay in your seats. Defense has got two minutes to stop this drive and put this game away. Number two is actually lined up at receiver. Interesting. This is a very unusual formation here. They're still uh, waiting for the call. I don't know. They're waiting on something. All right. Number 22 is actually in a quarterback, and he takes it from shotgun running to his right, cuts it back, and he's Big in. Man, touchdown, Chandler. With a minute 30 to go. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, folks, and DCA takes the lead late in the game. You hate to see it, but the game is not over. No, we've got a minute 30, but we've got a minute 30, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, DC is going to try for their two-point conversion here. Number two still lined up at receiver. Number 22 once again in at quarterback, running to his right, the same place he got the touchdown. Can he do it? No, he's short. Nice stop there by, uh, looked like Carson Walker there on the stop, number 15. We got to get a right. touchdown, Chandler. A field goal won't do it, folks. Not that we've kicked one, but it's going to No, be, we wouldn't dare kick one. It's going to have to be a touchdown to win the game for Nashville Christian with a minute 31 to go in the fourth quarter. Again, yeah, Michael and um, Colin, thank you for the footage you're giving us here on the field and up on the sky. Come on, guys. We got to get our heads in the game here. We got to finish this. Oof. Chandler, we, they made it a game, didn't they? They sure did. I mean, they did not quit. You got to give them that. Yeah, DCA has put up 26 points here, and they, it's been them really in the second half. They've, uh, they've caught second win. But here we go. DCA is going to send it to the middle here. It goes to, it looks like that's Mason Booker, catches it around the 35-yard line, and he brings it up to the 43-yard line. All right, here we go. Eagles are going to have 50 Six-ish, 57 yards to uh, to go here. Forty-two yard line, excuse me. Give me 58 yards. Let's do 58. Minute and 26 to go. Here we go, folks. Beckton Ost in at quarterback. Hudson Smith lined up at the top of your screen. Comes in motion. And it goes to Hudson Smith. Cuts it back up the middle. Oh, Hudson, 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 Hudson. Oh, and he's oh that's a horse. But he's brought down by the horse collar. Yeah. It's going to give us more yardage. Great job, Hudson. An extra 15 yards, I believe. It's only... Number 22 was trying to hang on because he knew if he didn't grab onto something, Hudson was going to be out of it. You're right, campus minister. We do have this. Thank you, Jeff Paul. Please uh, pray for us. <laughs> because we need the prayers of the righteous are powerful and effective. <laughs> pray for no injuries, Jeff. You know, we're not praying for victories out here, okay? It's not how we roll. But 
The great run by Hudson Smith. Damn, yeah, crowd stopping. They're up on their feet. Get your hands up, YouTubers. <laughs> All right, a minute 17 to go. We are now down at the 18-yard line. A touchdown is what it's going to take to take the lead here late in the fourth. A big first down, minute 17 left in the game. Three receivers split. Down by four. Hudson Smith in the backfield. Beckton gives it to him, runs to his right, cuts it back. He's still up on his feet. He's churning those legs, but there's a big pile that he's not going to get through. He gets, oh, I don't think they're going to give him much. I think they're going to keep it right where it's at. And time is running down. Well, stop. Coach King calls Coach it. Count, yeah. That might be their last. So the clock is going to be very interesting here at the end of the, the game here, especially with all the running we've been doing. With the, uh, the clock will be moving. With the running, you have the potential of, you know, time is running down and being stopped and more time and your timeouts are limited. Oh, Jeff Polk uh, saying that we, he was expecting more statistics from uh, the booth full of two math teachers. Well, you know, I've, I've jotted down some, some numbers here, Jeff, and unfortunately I don't have my abacus to tabulate everything about uh, how many yards Hudson Smith uh, has, has racked up tonight, but it's a lot. And touchdowns, also a lot. Mm -hmm. But the whole team but right now, has done a great Mr. job. Paul, we're, we're down by four in a minute two. There we and go. In second and ten, and we've got to focus on right now in the moment. Forget those things which are behind us and press forward to what's ahead. It's been a tale of two halves. Nashville Christian with the, uh, the momentum of the first half, but DCA has been gritty, and they have fought their way back into the lead in this second half. 18 yards to go. Bechtonos gives it to Mason Booker. Cutting back to the middle. Still running and tackled finally. 51 seconds to go. Clock is moving. Clock is moving, guys. The fellas are quickly trying to get a play figured out here. And refs are going to stop it. Okay, I guess Coach King had one more timeout, and he uses it. Is that the last one? Or actually, maybe he's got one more after that. That's, nope, his, nope. that's his final one. Okay. Well, we gained two yards on that run, so we're 16 yards away. 15 yards away. They just changed it. I mean, if it comes down to it, could it be a last second just prayer up into the end zone? Just backyard football? Who can snag it? Mercy. Cheerleaders are firing us up. They haven't missed a beat. All right, Eagles are back out there. 43 seconds to go, 15 yards to the end zone. We've got four receivers, Hudson Smith in motion. Becton fakes it to Hudson. He launches it for JP. Oh, man. Oh, and he catches it. Oh, he's a flag. Oh, but they rule it incomplete. They rule it incomplete. Uh, JP thought he caught it. thought that flag came down. But Maybe the not. flag is on DCA. The flag is on DCA, and I believe it's declined. Hey, what's happening here? Well, I believe it was pass interference. On but DCA. our team was celebrating as if it was a touchdown. I believe they're going to give us the uh, the pass interference call. That's going to march us all the way up inside the ten yard line. I believe we're down near the five. We're about at the seven. With thirty eight seconds. Okay, to we go. have no timeouts, and so we got to be up. mindful of this. Yeah, I know. Get, Come on, YouTubers, let's stand up here. We got 38 seconds. All right, folks, we've got four receivers, two to each side, Becton alone in the backfield. But, oh, DCA is going to stop the play before uh, Hudson can run towards the left sideline. There's a timeout on the field. Well, that was last second, wasn't it? Maybe they wanted to see what we had cooked up. so they can get a good plan of attack here. Folks, uh, Mr. B and I are on our feet with this exciting ending on the horizon. I mean, what an eighth grade night. 
Not a single fan is left. Everyone's still here. Concession stand is still open. With 38 seconds, cheerleaders are still cheering. Coach King, Coach Tidwell, and Coach Sattersfield is giving them the final plays. There they go. There they are. The fellas Let's are execute. There. Let's execute this. Who's going to make a play with 38 seconds to go? Big shout out to our offensive line, doing a great job tonight. But here we go, first and 10, well really first and seven. Seven to go, Hudson Smith takes it up the left side. Can he catch the corner? That's straight up, down, And they're in the lead once again. And not a flag, yes! Touchdown, Eagles! The seven yard touchdown run by Hudson Smith. Not one, not two, but three tonight. Yeah, don't throw Jeff Park some uh, statistics, Chandler. <laughs> wow. Uh, he has been unbelievable tonight. Now, there's still 31 seconds left on the clock, folks, and we've got a two. And you have a lead. number two on the other side who can run it like Hudson. That's right. So this game is not over, but the Eagles are now in position A, Here's the two-point conversion try. The fake to Hudson Smith. The pass just oh, over the head of Caleb Bell with a great man. play design. Oh. Great play design. Oh, man, I know. Beckham would love to see that one back. But the Eagles did what they had to do. They're back in the lead with 31 seconds to go. We're up two points, Chandler, but I don't see DCA kicking a field goal if they march it down that far to you. Oh, no, this is going to be— uh, It's touchdown or nothing here. Yeah, that's right. It is six bust. What a change of events here. But with all the the roller coaster of emotions, and the Eagles are now at the peak. Well, we got and they stay disciplined for these last 31 seconds. And DCA's out of timeouts as well. They're just a few tackles away from putting this game away. Mason Booker will be. Your kicker on the play. And the refs throw a flag and is on Nashville Christian. Maybe somebody offsides, perhaps? Well, we committed some penalty that's backed us up five yards. So we're going to retry this kick. How about number? Uh, how about number twenty-six, the mystery man? Can can he make a play in this final, this final if, kickoff? If so, he's the player of the game. All right, so it goes out to number fifty-seven, who falls on. Oh, he's trying to oh, fall oh, on oh, it, oh, oh. and look who's down there. It's Mister Red Shoes himself. He almost, almost grabs it, but fifty-seven cleans it up. They are around the forty-five yard line. Uh, their 45-yard line. So they've got 55 yards to go. They're down two. 29 seconds to go. Big D. Here we go, defense. This is your time to shine. We've got to contain number two, Chandler. That's right. I mean, I know there are other players, but you've got to contain number two. Not him. I'm going to get it around the corner. Let's see. Do they stick with number two? Or do they try something new? Looks like DCA is still trying to figure out kind of what play they want to run here. But here we go. Number two in shotgun. He throws it immediately to number 15 who catches it. And Carson Walker with a great open field tackle. Oh, what a, kit. What a play to stop that. Clock still running. Not a first down. 15-14. All right, this could be the final play of the game, folks. Ten seconds to go, and never mind. It's going to be blown dead. Flag on the play. Offsides? I think it's a false start on DCA. It's going to back them up five yards. And with eight seconds to go, this could be the final play of the game. If I were a betting man. Did stop the clock, though. It did. And... A lot of the – we're going to have just a three-man front here, it looks like. And Coach King is sending a lot of his team deep 
to protect the goal line. This is it. One. Final play. Final play, everybody. Quarterback rolling out to his left, number two. He's passed the, well, it doesn't matter. It's short. The game is over. And that's what Christian wins on eighth grade night. That's ball game, folks. That's way to come back, Chandler, being down by four. Oh, man, what a great Sideline was a little bit down, but they found within themselves. Game's not over. Way to go, way to go. That last drive told me a lot about those players. Hey, number 26 confirmed. That's James Knepple right there. Shout out to the special teams player of the game, number 26, uh, Mr. Red Shoes. He is the special teams player. Players are getting in their handshake lines. Hey, a great job by DCA, the visitors coming out from Donaldson. They they showed a lot of heart in the second half. They really they really dominated the second half. And uh, without that last uh, minute run there by Hudson Smith, they would have walked out of here winners. Yeah, they showed 26 points on us. What an exciting, exciting game. A combined 54 points between our two teams here. And we want to give a special thanks to our audience for, for joining us, for supporting your teams. Yeah, the, mo the one with the most wins wins. That's right. Thank you, Jeff. That's pretty much what every broadcaster and analyst uh, ends up saying in some fancy way. So thank you to our uh, wonderful crew, Mr. Andrew Atkins, who runs the whole show here. Thank you to uh, him getting us set up here. And thank you to Kane and Haley and Michael and Colin. We're doing a great job. But Masterful job. ESPN, look out. That's right. We have the crew. The we just need that wire camera across the field to go back and forth. I don't know how we could rig that up with the construction, them tearing up everything, but maybe not this year. That's right. It's down the pipeline. Chandler, what do you, would you say is... Uh, what would you call player plays what of the game here? Oh, man. I mean, so many, so many. I mean, of course, Hudson Smith has had a, another uh, great game, but I want to give some other shout-outs to, to James Knippel with uh, some great special teams plays. Carson Walker with that incredible interception that I'm sure everyone will be talking about tomorrow. And just an overall great job. Way to go. Um, offensive line, defensive line. And John Press sent him with some sacks and stops, as well as Walker Martin with catching up with number two. Yes. Even though they did score, but the, still that effort. Yes. Offensive line, defensive line. Um, you showed perseverance, guys. You come back and watch this. You you know you're behind, down a little bit, stuck as a team, pushed through, scored. That's right. Uh, great resilience. We're, we're very proud. Way to walk out with a win on eighth grade night. you love to see it. Uh, but I think that's – all we've got, we're going to sign off. Thanks for, for watching, and we will maybe see you tomorrow night for the high school team. Yeah, homecoming. Be here. Be square. Don't be square. Be here. Be, be here. Be triangle. Yes. Anything but a square. Okay. Thank you all.
Okay. See you Monday. Okay, Thanks for doing a great job. No problem. Our inverters have not only fired a test for us, but for us, we have the obstacles we have overcome. Our first cheerleader tonight is Adelaide Brazel. She defended NTS for nine years. Her favorite memory here at NTS is the Philadelphia Seventh Grade Church. Adelaide looks forward to cheering in high school and being with her friends.
is his first football game playing for the NCAA. And what he looks forward to most in high school is playing sports and being with friends. So the first to take the team to information is Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways to submit to Him and he will make your pasture. Our next player is number 68, Yoel Campos. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, the plans of the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Next player is number 64, Will Duncan. Thank you. 
Okay. Snake Pass will lead number five, Hudson Geary. Number of Dale and Marcia Geary. Clear against the ex memory is airstrikes with fire. What Hudson looks forward to in high school is playing baseball for a coach Raven. Coach King's verse for you is Isaiah 41 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Number two, Gary Green. Yeah. Okay, if you turn up Gary and Leticia Green, he's been at yes for two years. His favorite memory is to the state game with his friends. What he looks forward to most in high school is doing homework, playing sports, making sure he's doing, he's doing all his work. Yes, God, I love this guy. Shout out to you, man. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Should not perish, but have everlasting love. Joseph Hoskins. Joseph is the son of Michael and Jennifer Hoskins. This is his third year in the NTS. It's going to have some comedy on the Christmas wrap. The Christmas wrap show that happened last year. But he looks
seven, number seven, that is awesome. <laughs>
verse to you on was Deuteronomy 31 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. Your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Next up is number 66, Peyton Walker. <laughs> His favorite memory is his first day of first grade. And what he looks forward to most in high school is hanging out with his friends. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. In God. And I'm not afraid what the mere mortals do to me. State Capitol, and when you look forward to the high school plan on the baseball team. Thank you. Thank you. Back to Mark 12 30. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. each other, thankful for coaches, faculty, and staff, administrators, and everybody that pulls into this school. Uh, we're thankful for blessing of the school. Jesus, we're thankful for the sacrifice that came We are each of these eight graders. We pray that you be with every step of your life. We pray that you watch over them. We pray that they will turn to you and get time to bad. And Father, we pray that you be with us. We need your tonight. Please watch over this school. Bless us all. We pray that you be with us. 